All right, welcome. We're uh, going to look at Jeremy McGrath Off-Road. Um, I don't know why it says one achievement. I don't remember playing this, but I can pretty much guarantee it's going to be god-awful. Um, this is an Xbox Live Arcade download. Um, I don't know what to say. I've not uploaded a video about this. haven't looked at any videos on this. Um, you know, as it starts up... I'm trying to see, uh, you know, what to expect, or think about what to expect. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these types of shovelware racing games. Uh, racing games are some of my favorite games overall, but not ones that I can predict are just to take advantage of a franchise. Um, obviously, for the sake of time, I'm going to go with the arcade version. Um, not sure which track to pick here. Uh, I'm gonna go with one. That one looks like it could be pretty interesting, polygon wise. Uh, but I think I'm gonna dig on this one. It looks like it's got some straightaways, so I don't look like too much of an ass trying to play this thing. Um, sport buggy, and I guess the rest will be locked. That's fine. Um, I would have liked to have tried to take this car in the outback. But I guess I have to wait to unlock that. I'll go with the only one that will allow me to use. And that's this wacky looking buggy hybrid of something um, that came about. Um, I don't wish to upgrade vehicle. I'm just going to get in there. Single race, road hazards on, start type grid, difficulty. Um, that's fine. Semi pro, what's the next? Pro 150%. So this is the amount of XP I guess you get for finishing the race. The opponents are competitive, open class, same class. I'm going to go with open class so maybe I can see some of those other models in there. And let's just go with it. Steering, reset, pause, boost, top, shoulder button, brake, reverse, gas, camera, e-brake, look back. Alright, so gas. That's all I'm going to pretty much need here to make sure I know about. I'm going to try to wreck this vehicle too and see how they handled the collision. I know this, I put a lot of emphasis on destroying vehicles because it's kind of fun. Um, but I do realize that they don't have the time to be doing this when they make these games. They're really just trying to make something that they could say is a racing game. Alright, so immediately the controls are a little floaty. Um, it doesn't really feel like I'm even gripping this track. It kind of looks like I'm just floating around on the track like an airplane. Um, even when I'm supposedly gripping this track. Um, and it's fine if this is how one of these cars actually handles in the real deal. Um, the real world scenario. But it doesn't feel like this car is gripping this track at all. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I didn't expect a lot out of this. Um, you know, you staple somebody's name to a game that looks like it could be some... 3D graphic engines demo game for a racer, you know. Um, I believe that a long time ago I tried to, I worked for a company that tried to put one out like this. I just saw the car I wanted to be in the uh, vehicle select. Um, doesn't look like anything too special. Mainly because these cars aren't really crashing that cool. I really wanted to wreck a street legal car in this outback course. Uh, I don't even remember what I picked for the opponents um, or my abilities. If I picked semi-pro, I'd be surprised. Probably pretty sure I left around amateur. Nonetheless, um, the vehicle damage sucks. This could be predicted. You know, it's those kind of details that you know some people don't realize make a game pretty good. Um, you know, I definitely would not play this game to the end. Um, <laughs> There's no way I will probably even play this game again. Um, chances are one of the kids that have access to this particular console started up this game and played it themselves. And seeing that they only got one of the 12 uh, achievements or whatever that was that was uh, flagged on the startup. Alright, so I'm kind of just sliding around. Position 5 or 8, that's fine. Um, just cruising. I really, my headphones aren't working so good, so I really don't know what kind of music I'm playing in the background here. I'm going to guess that it sucks. Um, I can hear something like that. 
you know, just a little something. I should try to hit that pace now. Alright, so what am I, lap one of one? So this is a really long track, in position four of eight. Looking like we got some uh, marshmallows, some, some gray marshmallows. I've actually taken some pictures of shit like that, pretending they're marshmallows. So, I suck at this game. Um, it was the first time out. I didn't pick the, you know, I picked the track. I didn't pick uh, any track that appeared to be the easiest. I did like the straightaway factor of this track. Um, but, you know, this is taking absolutely no skill. I haven't tried to boost yet. Um, I did just hit the brake by accident there. Um, the boost isn't working. Uh, I haven't built up any boosts. 150 XP for a clutch boost. <laughs> so, uh, I don't have any sound, so I can't even tell. Oh, that's McGrath right there in that slick car I wanted to be. Um, so, I don't know if that's Jeremy McGrath or his dumpy brother racing. Um, that's the end of the race. Fourth place. No, nothing special. Um, but I was really just kind of casually cruising around there. Uh, question is, do I feel like giving this thing another go and trying something else here? Um, that was it for the arcade version. Download content. Yeah, like I'm going to do that. Um, you know, I hesitate to be too hard on these guys. Um, you know, they're just trying to make games and that's fine. I don't get too worked up about it. I'll just check out this track real quick, see if I... Uh, I haven't unlocked anything, so it'll be the same car again. I will, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be playing career mode. Let's try pro experience and see if these guys are any tougher. I did pick a wavier or a track with more turns in it, so uh, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, that picture sucks. That guy has a helmet on, and I guess it's Jeremy McGrath. Um, car is doing a donut in the corner while it's loading. Try to stay on track when you're racing. The tall bushes, soft sand will slow you down. Well, <laughs> the slow sand, you know, the sand will slow you down, huh? All right, so that's what we'll do. We'll, uh, see if this is uh, anything great. Like if this is track feels identical to the other track. Maybe it's the same exact material. That's fine. But the uh, track the detail looks pretty detailed when you're up close but it looks really blurred out in the distance that's a level of detail issue I mean there is nothing to this track position 8 to 8 at least I'm doing what I should be doing here all right so got some obstacles weird stuff falling there that doesn't make much sense that log looked like it was just suspended in there kind of just whipping around here try to see if I can oh, there's some collision detection on the signs yay circa 1997 um, as far as its complexity they're really not doing much here I said I have no idea what the heck they were thinking making this game I don't know what studio made this game um, I don't know how many downloads it sold. I don't know if they're proud of it um, or what, or if it was just something they did to pay the bills. Um, you know, obviously you can do well. Um, you know, putting someone's name on this, this game still sucks. I haven't, I haven't used a boost yet. It doesn't. Uh, is there an indicator to show where my boost is? I don't even see one. Um, clutch boost, here we go. They just wound out the engine. Got some experience for a clutch boost. Maybe someone can comment and tell me what the hell's going on with this boost. <laughs> it looks like it winds out the engine and then... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with that thing. God awful. So, uh, I'm going to end it here. I am not going to dignify this development with uh, <laughs> a further review. Um, this is totally not something I would play. Not something I would even want to continue to play. Um, but I'm going to move on to something else and see what there's something good here. Um, you know, just look at some of this stuff. Let's check out some of the features. This is the maybe it's better in first person. 
just trying some of the buttons before I shut this thing down. Got some good uh, tree that just fell over but didn't really interfere with me. Um, that's a reverse cam there. Not sure what the green button was for. Um, I set up this huge racing rig not long ago, maybe about a year ago. It was pretty awesome to play Forza, so it was a little bit less than a year ago. Um, but this game would not make me want to do it. Not make me want to start it up. Some 3D letters in there, throw it together, get it done. The uh, detail on this screen is pretty weak. Um, you know, I guess they're doing what they got to do. Um, you know. They got some good uh, gradients going, some blacks, some whites, some grays, dumpy font. I don't know what the heck font that is. Looks like Star Trek or something. Um, that's it for Jeremy McGrath, Xbox Live Arcade. I hope I didn't miss anything. If you have any questions about the way it felt before you go and download this game, because you just uh, can't wait to see it. I honestly I don't even know how old this game is guessing it's pretty old. Um, I hope it's pretty old. Uh, but I just wanted to do some uh, look backs at some of the old titles that I had on this thing and uh, ones I never actually uploaded videos for. So you're getting them now uh, with voiceover. So um, enjoy uh, the videos to come. Subscribe. Definitely makes me want to uh, continue to do this. And I'll, uh, see you in the next video.